Hi, my name is Yolanda. Welcome to I Read the Whole Bible Every Year Community. Today I will be reading the English version of day 14. That would be Genesis, Matthew, Psalms, and Proverbs. Let's get started. Today will be Genesis 30. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else, or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I in God? See, who hath, who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid, Balha, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Balha, her handmaid, to wife. And Jacob went in unto her. And Baha conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me and hath also heard my voice and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Baha, Rachel's maid, conceived again and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, with great wrestlings, have I wrestled with my sister and I have prevailed. And she called his name Napatili. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zelpah, her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife. And Zelpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob's son. Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. And Zelpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found May Drake in the field and brought them unto his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, give me, I pray thee, O thy sons, May Drake. And she said unto her, is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldest thou take away my sons, May Drake's also? And Rachel said, therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrake. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening and Leah went out to meet him and said, thou must come in unto me for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrake. And he lay with her that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived, and bare Jacob, the fifth son. And Leah said, God have given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called him Eshkar. And Leah conceived again, and bare Jacob, the sixth son. And Leah said, God have in Endued me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me because I have borne him six sons. And she named him Zebulon. And afterwards she shared a daughter and called her Deniah. And God remembered Rachel and God hardened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bared a son and said, God has taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph. 
and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had born Joseph, and Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go unto my own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go, for thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy eyes, tarry, I have learned by experience that the Lord, Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, appoint me thy wages and I will give it. And he said unto him, thou knowest how I have served thee and how thy cattle was with me. For it was little which thou hast before I came, and it is now increased into a multitude. And the Lord has blessed thee since my coming. And now, when shall I provide for my own house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted and speckled among the goats. And of such shall be my heart. So shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come, when it shall come for my hire before thee face. Everyone that is not speckled and spotted among the goat and brown among the sheep that shall be counted stolen with me. And Laban said, Behold, I would, it might be according to thy word. And he removed. And he removed that day that he goats that were rain straight and spotted and all the goats, all she goats that were speckled and spotted and everyone that had some white in it and all the brown among the sheep and gave them into the hand of his son. And he said, three days journey, be with, be with himself and Jacob. And Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flock. And Jacob took, took him rods of green poplar and of the hazel and chestnut tree and peeled white straight in them and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had peeled before the flock in the the gutters and the watering troughs when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods and brought forth cattle, green straked, speckled, and spot, spotted. And Jacob did separate the lambs and set the faces of the flocks towards the ring straight, and all the brown in the flock of Laban. And he put his own flock by themselves and put them unto, not unto Laban's cattle. And it came to pass, whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive that Jacob laid the rod before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly and had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses. Genesis 31 verse 16. 
for all the riches which God has taken from our Father. For all the riches which God has taken from our Father, that is ours and our children's. Now then, whatsoever God has said unto thee, do. The next, uh, Matthew 10, 1 through 23. And it reads, and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now that the names of the 12 apostles are these, the first Samuel, who is called Peter, I'm sorry, the first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philippa, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the Republican, James, the son of Alphadus, and Labius whose surname was Theodos, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Azekar, who also betrayed him. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, go not unto the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leapers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script, scribe, for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and the day of judgment than for, this, for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Our next scripture is Psalms 12. Psalms 12. One through eight. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that poofeth at him. 
The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver and tried in a furnace of earth and purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the valorous men are exalted. Our next reading is Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, 13 through 15. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that giveth understanding. For that merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain therefore of fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Great reading. Hi, my name is Yolanda. And today I come to give you an update. Starting this journey, I never really wanted to read the Bible, but I was determined to read it. And now that God has given Erica this platform, I find that it's easier for me to do. Um, I haven't really stayed on top of it, so I'm trying to catch up with the scriptures so that I can apply it to my life. And it has been a great teaching where the community has different people that's involved and we all do different readings from God's word, his book. And we apply it to our lives so that we can get stronger and know God. And for me, it has really been, it used to be a challenge, but now I can say that every day I try to get a little scripture in, whether I'm reading it or I'm listening to the different recording of the teaching. And with this being said, you can catch um, the readings on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and it will bless you. It, it really will bless you. And so to, to, to really get into the word, you have to apply it to your life every day. And I'm destined to do this daily and to apply it to my life because I want to know God. I have, I have things to do for him. And so I need to know the word, to apply the word to feed on the word, to swallow the word. The word needs to be applied daily. And I thank Erica for being the platform that God is using her as the tool to reach the people across the world. So again, I thank you. I pray that this blesses you like it blessed me. I love you. God bless.